Hi everyone, welcome to Marika Creations. 2024 is here. Happy New Year everyone. And today I will share with you some Dark Academia wall art pieces. I already have the frames, two of them, that I got from my neighbor some time ago and I've used them throughout the seasons already. And now it's time to change them out for the Dark Academia wall art that I will create today. And I will use acrylic paint and some other mediums to create dimension in my paintings. If you enjoy this and you would like to recreate these wall art pieces but you don't like painting, I have a solution for you. So at the end of the video I will give you another option. So stick around for that. So these are the frames I was talking about. I have had the Christmas decor in them so I have taken out the Christmas decor and I had some glue residue on the frame so I have sanded them off a little bit as you can see the lighter bits on the frame there and I have the packings that I will use as my canvas today. First thing I will do with my backings dust them off and then I will spray them with my home glue spray like that a quick coat just to make them not so glossy anymore for the paint to adhere better set them aside to dry for a bit and then I will focus on my frames so I take my black stain here put on one coat with a paintbrush and then wipe off the excess just with a paper tissue like that. They are darker directly but I am not 100% happy with that grey looking colour. I want more warmth to it so I set them aside to dry for a little bit and then I will go back with another stain. And this is the stain I'm using here with an undertone of red and orange and that warms the piece up quite a lot. Now back to my backings. They have dried and now I'm putting on a base coat, actually two coats of this satin finished greyish colour. If you're new to my channel, hi, I am Marika and on this channel I do lots of DIYs, thrift flips, trash to treasure, an occasional dupe, the renovation of my home and I even do some pottery and some painting, anything creative really. Please join me, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and join my YouTube family. So this is my inspiration piece, found it online with the text, with the sculpture, the bust there and the botanical piece as well. Screams academia to me. So here I'm starting with the background. I want it to be a little old world looking, so I'm just dotting on beiges, whites, greys, blacks with my paintbrush and then blend them together with a sponge. And I'm just starting away until I'm happy with the result for the time being. The next thing I'm doing is to put on a black acrylic paint on the corners as you see me do here and on the sides as well, all the way around because what I will do is to give it a crackle effect and I want the crackles shining through to be black so I want them around the edges but first I need this paint to dry so I speed it up a little bit with my hair dryer once completely dry I take my crackle medium and put on one coat on the black surface 
and now it's very important that that crackle medium dries completely as well and as soon as it has I go in with a white creamy grayish color very light and speed it up with the hair dryer as well and you can see the crackle effect immediately here do the same with the other one the trick here when you put your paint on the crackle medium just the one coat don't go back and um, repaint or anything then you lose the effect so one quick coat and now I have to make it all blend in with the background so I'm dotting away here again as I did from the start with my different shades of grey, black and white When I'm happy with the background, I set the paintings aside to dry for a bit and focus on the text that I will have as a backdrop on the paintings. I have found some text, actually quotes from Nikola Tesla. I thought I was um, sort of um, an academia vibe as well. So I have uh, mirrored the text in my computer and put in a nice beautiful font and printed them out but before I put them on my background I have put on one coat of a satin finished varnish to protect the colors already put on and now I'm putting on the text upside down like that space them out where I need them to be and then I take my transfer Mod Podge, put on a layer on my painting and put on that piece of paper with the text facing down. Like that. Do the same on the other one. Make sure there are no air bubbles, just smooth them out completely. And once they have dried, I go in with a damp sponge and just rub gently on that paper until I rub off almost all the paper. It doesn't matter if I leave a tiny bit, it doesn't matter if I accidentally, which I did, just wiped a little too hard and some of the words got lost in the process because this is old world, this is dark academia it has been around for a while, let's pretend so a little distressed So I'm rubbing away until I'm happy with the result and then I'm on to my sculpture, my bust-like um, portrait. I have some uh, busts that I'm looking at in my computer just to get a sense of uh, what, to, what to paint. So I'm sketching out a female face here as you can see hopefully. And now I'm taking my acrylic paint and start painting her and I've given her all shades of grey, whites and blacks to get her to harmonize with the rest of the painting and also to make her resemble a stone bust. I 
have decided to make this painting more feminine and the other painting more masculine. On to the other painting, the more masculine one. And here I'm sketching out a bust of a Roman man. If you like this video and videos like this, consider subscribing, maybe share with a friend and hit that like button as well. It will help my channel to grow and I can spend more time creating inspirational content for you. My aim is to upload one video per week. Beside the lady, I will sketch out a simple flower just using grey tones and some black and white, representing the more nurturing aspect of the feminine. And here beside the male, I will paint a compass rose representing the male aspect, the masculine aspect, more technique, more action. And I believe we all hold both the feminine and the masculine aspect. I certainly do. I have an equal part of both, I think. So when I'm done and everything has dried completely, I give my paintings one more coat of my satin finished varnish just to protect my colors. And here they are, at least one of them to begin with my Roman boy. I think it looks good. I like how it turned out in that beautiful old world looking frame. A little bit of crackle on the edges. And here is my lady in my kitchen looking beautiful. So tell me, what do you think of my creations today? Are they old world looking? Did you have a favorite out of the two? Let me know in the comments. And now I told you I have a solution for you if you want to recreate this, but you don't want to paint and you don't like the paint, you can't paint for whatever reason. Just go to your computer Maybe you have a program like PowerPoint or something like that. And here we are. Just pick something from the internet. Make sure it's a free download. I have a background here and I have some text. 
with a beautiful font that I like and I put in a free download here as well, a bust and a compass rose as well, a free download et voila, you have everything here without a paint stroke I would print it out on a thicker paper to get that old world feel so if you are inspired and you want more inspiration straight away just hit that DIY playlist icon appearing on the screen right here just click and enjoy thank you so very much for watching see you soon again in my next one until then take care bye